In a few weeks' time, we will be marking the 100th birth anniversary of Mr. Lee Kuan Yew. It's timely to reflect upon the values and ideals championed by Mr. Lee and the Founding Fathers, and for us to renew our commitment to these enduring values and ideals. I spoke in my Malay speech earlier about an exhibition now on at the National Museum, Smangat Yang Baru, Forging a New Singapore Spirit. The exhibition tells the story of the birth of our nation. It transports us back to our early years of nation building. It honors the indomitable spirit of the pioneer generation. They dared, they fought ferociously for Singapore, they never gave up. And thus, they turned mud flats into a metropolis and took us from third world to first. But our forefathers built more than a nation of bricks and mortar, skyscrapers, and a thriving economy. They created a nation founded on ideals, justice and equality, religious freedom and racial harmony, a commitment to excellence, a fair system of meritocracy, and an uncompromising insistence on honest, clean government. Integrity and incorruptibility are fundamental to Singapore. They are the foundation on which we build, we run a clean and effective government and deliver results for Singaporeans. Mr. Lee Kuan Yew considered these the most crucial ideals of all. On his 90th birthday, he came to Parliament to attend the sitting. We celebrated his birthday in the members' room. We were all there. PAP MPs and ministers, opposition MPs led by Mr. Lo Tia Kiang, as well as NMPs. Frail and ill, Mr. Lee said just a few words. He spoke only about one thing. He reminded us Singapore must always remain clean and incorruptible, and ministers and MPs have to set the example. Otherwise, he said, we are finished. I will never forget those brief words. For the sake of the country, I will do all I can to keep faith with Mr. Lee's hope, no matter the price, no matter the embarrassment or political cost. I will do my utmost to keep the system clean. And every generation of PAP leaders must also stand by this. This is what Singapore depends upon. The ideals I spoke about are not just abstract aspirations. They are our compass. They guide every decision we make. They give purpose and meaning to our nation building. They make Singapore stand tall amongst the nations of the world. By upholding these ideals, we have, over the decades, built a high-trust society, one where people trust one another, regardless of race, language, or religion, where the people and government trust each other too, in big ways and small. This is what saw us through the ups and downs over the past 58 years, 